it's not easy to find a kid whose voice is natural and kind of um, it, it's easy for a child to sound like they're acting especially when all they have to deal with is a microphone and you do the recording sessions in a great big studio with a great big microphone you're all, sort of all by yourself you have one or two people in the room with you but you know you're not um, you don't have much to work with as a kid to imagine the whole world. They take you in and they quite often show you the storyboards, which is a little bit like having a comic book read to you by your parents. It's this terrific, you know, large bulletin board with these great drawings posted up all over it. And um, so you know where you're headed as a performer, but really they're asking after a kid who has a voice that's very natural and very um, relaxed and childlike. Do you give them any advice? No, I have, I've had nothing to do with production. Oh, okay. And, um, what was it like being here at the studios and working? Did you get to work with Walt during the first film? Especially well, with your dad as an animator. Yeah, as my dad being at the time that I was a young boy, already having moved into directing, um, we came down quite a little bit as kids. We would come down and his offices right up in the windows right in there from the oak tree. I can remember vividly coming down on weekends and seeing the office and having him show us work in progress. I think sometimes he used us as a, as a test audience, in fact, to show us little things on a a very small projector essentially can set up in his office and see if we responded to it in the way that they had hoped. Um, so it was a great, I mean as a kid, it was a terrific childhood. You got to hang out with really creative people. You got to see how your father worked, which is something that oftentimes children don't get a good glimpse of these days. And a sense of how he operated with his compatriots. And then there's a sense of legacy and a sense of history about the place that was uh, something I'm proud to be part of. Do you have a favorite memory of working on this? A favorite memory? It's a long time ago. We're expecting a lot of them. This is, these, are, these questions are going to get harder and harder to get the in my life, I can tell. Um, yeah, I don't really have any particular memories. Um, working with the other voice talent was great. Sebastian Cabot and Sterling Holloway. Um, we're just terrific people, um, terrific voice talent, terrific actors, and then um, really nice people, always nice to me. So uh, the, the things about it I remember the most are just the people that I rubbed elbows with. You know, just kind of the, the sense that it was a little bit of a family deal. Um, that's what the studio has always been about on some level. Um, even though my dad was the director, obviously, you know, we're family, but there's a sense of um, being well taken care of. You know, there's a sense of safety and kind of uh, comfort that I, I, uh, I remember as an emotion more than any specific Okay, last question. Do you like honey? Oh, I love honey. <laughs> yum, okay. yum, 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 in my tummy. All right, thank you so much. Thanks.